Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to use Filmora 9 to record your screen. So you can record what's on your screen. So maybe it's a tutorial or gameplay, but you can also add picture in picture. If you have a webcam set up, you can be recording yourself at the same time. It's a few clicks to do this and I'll show you a few tips and uh, some of the editing that uh, might help you along the way too. If you want to give Filmora 9 a try, if you haven't downloaded it, you can download it for free. I'll put the links down below. Uh, it is watermarked, the free version. You do have to purchase it to get rid of the watermark. So let's get started today at Teachers Tech. So just before we get started, just to let you know, I use Camtasia to create my videos. I don't use Filmora 9. I just want to show you some of the things that you can do in Filmora 9. And this is one of them if you're already using it. So let's say we're going to do a little tutorial here on uh, editing in Filmora 9. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording my screen. To do this, I just go to record right here and you can see I have record PC screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this and you're going to see some options. So now do I want to record in full screen? If I drop down, you can see uh, there's if there's a target window, uh, I can make this custom to where the, when I put in the uh, width and height and the pixels here too. Uh, it shows uh, the line in for audio so I could change this depending on what mic I wanted to use and my speaker headphones here. This is your settings here. So if I open this up and I'll show you a little bit more of this uh, in a moment with recording uh, with your webcam too. But if you go through here, you can see where you can choose your frame rate, your quality, your record. If you wanted to set it for so long, your record timings. And if you want, when you click, do you want uh, it to show up and you can alter the color of these two depending on which one you want. So it's important. I like using the hotkeys. You can see how space can pause the recording and everything and F F9 to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and just start recording by hitting this big red button right here. Uh, I'm just going to record about 10 seconds, just importing some footage into Filmora 9. So here we go. We have the countdown and this is just going to be recording my screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up Filmora here and I'm going to import some media to uh, to my, so I can start working on it right away. So in this one, I'm just going to go ahead and pick uh, these two right here and import them in and drag it down. I can add it to the timeline and match the media on this one. And I'm just going to do this quickly and we're going to add a quick transition between the two of them here. So uh, let's say that's all I want to say in my tutorial. I'm going to hit F9 and this will end here. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this out and you can see what happened here. Uh, it recorded this right here. So I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to first of all just delete this because the example I was showing uh, I don't need it. But if I drag this in to my footage here, I'm just going to again match the media. And if I hit play, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the Mora here and I'm going to import some media to uh, and you can hear everything that I'm saying there and it's showing my mouse and everything. So the one thing is that maybe you want to zoom up on certain areas or edit from the front or the back because maybe you gain, get some extra stuff that you don't want in there. So you can quickly edit. Uh, so if there was something, if I wanted it maybe just to start when I had Filmora already open, I could go ahead and clip it and I'm just going to get rid of that and then I can move this back uh, to the beginning and I can go through and edit things like this. The other thing is, so maybe I want to uh, make sure I zoom up on this part. What I can do is, uh, so if I go ahead and just uh, click on, I'm going to double click on this on this footage right here and you can see I get some different uh, options that open. Now I can go ahead and pick transform and then I can scale it. So if I scale this up, uh, maybe I could zoom up right to here. So if I hit OK, uh, then I can hit play again. Right you can see I'm zoomed up. But then that might not work out perfectly because maybe you're going to miss different areas too. So what you might want to do, and I'm just going to go control Z to go uh, backwards here. What you might want to do is cut up because uh, you can add that to transform to different parts if you cut it up. So if I go ahead and just hit cut, like so, then what I can do is uh, I could zoom up on this part over here. So if I double click on this, 
I can go to my scale, I can zoom up and then maybe I had to zoom uh, back out again on this other one. So if I go, if I just hit play at this point, you can see how it goes out again. And this is maybe where you could add a transition if you wanted something to make it a little bit more smooth. If I just grab, I'll just grab this and I could add it in between and I hit play. So I can start working and you can make give that effect so if you did need to zoom up on something you can do it uh, that way too so the other thing I just want to show you is to do picture in picture on this one uh, so uh, what I'm going to do actually is stop my Camtasia and then I'm going to record again because I can't have two cameras recording at the same time so now that I'm back to my media up here I can go ahead and record my PC screen so when I go ahead and click on it, this time I'm going to go to my settings and change some. I want the, the camera to be on this time. So I'm going to go to my settings and I'm going to just click this right here. Uh, you can see I'm using the Logitech Brio. This is what's going to show up. You can see the green screen that's behind me. I can drag this to where I want on the screen and I can also size it. So if you wanted it larger, you can go ahead and do this. So get it to the place you want go ahead and hit record and then it's going to be uh, recording from there. So at just like I did last time, if I was going to go back to Filmora to show something, let's say if I was going to drag this one thing down, uh, just like that, I'm going to go ahead and stop it, F9. And now I'll just switch over back to my Camtasia camera. And like I showed you before, you just drag this down into your timeline and you can start editing. I'm just going to delete this. So move this over and I'm just going to hit play and you'll be able to see. Last time, if I was going to go back to Filmora to show something. And you can do the same editing that I showed you last time. Uh, even though I have a green screen behind me, I can't get rid of this. You notice this green screen uh, is on the same layer uh, than uh, the both footage that the screen recording is. So I can't uh, get rid of this. So in the program I use Camtasia allows me to simply delete the green screen. But in this one, so you probably, depending on the background you have, you're just gonna have that background uh, there because it's all part of one layer. If you do wanna learn more about uh, Filmora 9, I do have a complete tutorial on it. Remember, you can download it for free. It is watermarked, but you can test out all these things on it too. So I hope you like this tip about recording, uh, whether it's a tutorial or gameplay on Filmora 9. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know what else you want to learn about Filmora 9 or other tech programs. See you next time on Teacher's Tech.